All right, Spencer and James here, Alpha Squad Bravo. Yup. Uh, we're back here. We're doing a. What are we doing? Uh, we are gonna build our own body armor, yep. but there's a twist. Yeah. So we have to choose uh, different stores, or not different stores. We get the same store, but we have to choose from a store in here. There's a okay. uh, Dollar General. Uh, there's uh, Ace Hardware, Home Tra Depot, Tractor Supply, Tractor Supply, and Myers. And Myers, and we get forty dollars, and we could both potentially draw the same store. Yep. And we have to thank uh, one of the uh, one of you guys for commenting on this. They challenged us. They said twenty dollars, but and that was going to be a little hard. I mean, forty bucks is still kind of cheap in for body armor. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, you know, forty bucks, we can stop the bullet though. Yeah, and this is going to take place over a couple of days, which is why in the next part of the video, you're going to see us in like different clothes. So yeah, first one or first phase, draw a store, go shopping. Yep. All right. All right. Oh, am I drawn first? Yep. All right, it looks like... Do I only have one? Yep, you only have one. I got Ace Hardware. Hey, that's actually a good store to go to. That's, that's not a bad one, it could be worse. Yeah. But that goes back in the box. We're gonna shake that sucker up. Thank you for the Car Hurt 10. Not a sponsor, but... Not, a, not yet. Nope. All right, eyes are closed. Oh, that's a good one right there. Oh, yeah, only got one? Yep. It mirrors. Oh! If nobody knows what Myers is, uh, it's a Michigan store. <laughs> so, yeah. It's pretty much like a Walmart. It's Walmart. Yeah. All right. All right. Off to Ace and Meyer we go. We'll catch back with you guys. All right, Spencer here. Uh, don't mind my messy uh, laundry room, but I've been to Meyer. Uh, I forgot to record it because I forgot as I, as I have to work. I forgot to bring my camera with me, but I went to Meyer, spent forty dollars in body armor stuff. So here's what I got. I got a pizza stone for twelve dollars, a whopping twelve dollars. As you can see, pizza stone. And I got a cutting board. See, it's all still in Meyer. Yeah, a cutting board for twenty. Pretty thick cutting board for twenty bucks. Uh, then I got some high quality T-Rex tape at, uh, for eight dollars. So it's on sale. Uh, twenty buy one get one twenty percent off. So eight bucks. Each one is five dollars. So T-Rex tape, pretty good stuff. Uh, it's better than Gorilla tape, duct tape, all that stuff. So all right. Uh, I am gonna assemble this at the range, and you guys will see it there. So. All right, um, <clears throat> I am at Ace Hardware, and I got $40 to spend to build some really good body armor. So, uh, wish me luck. I'll let you know what I end up with here shortly. All right, uh, as you've seen in the last video, we were discussing that. Now we've created the plates, and now we're at the grand buddy's place to shoot, shoot them at, so. Yeah, so uh, we got a brand new strike face armor plate here. Uh, what is this, level three plus? Yep, three plus. So it stops everything other than a 30 out of six armor piercing. So I'll stop the 30 out of six. Yeah, so uh, we brought some other calibers that we haven't shot yet today so much. So uh, we'll take you through them as we uh, pull them out and shoot them. But uh, there's some big boys in the mix today. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, part three, and I think we'll actually have a part four. There's some other calibers we still have to do, but we just don't like to bring all the guns at once. Yeah. You know, it's better this way. Yep. So, uh, let's get to it, huh? Let's go. All right, James, we're going to start small, right? We're going to start small as always. First up, uh, got a little PSA AR9. Uh, we're just going to shoot it with a 9, you know. We already know it doesn't go through, but might as well verify again. Yep. And for anybody that doesn't know, PSA means uh, Palmetto State Armory. So. Yeah, they make good stuff. Yep. All right. Round one. Miss. Oh my god. Well, it's not sighted in. Oh. It's the first day I've shot it. Hit. All right. Did absolutely nothing. Nope, nothing. Didn't go through. Next. All right, next up, Spencer, what do we got? 45 out of the Smith Wesson Performance Center 1911. All right.
Got a hit. Looks like you hit over there. Even on the weakest spot of it, nothing. Hit there. Oh, you did hit down there. Oh yeah, that was my first one. Anyway, yeah, 45. Barely even shatters the, or, or, uh, the coating. Nope. All right, next up we have you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. We got a nine millimeter on the right and a Smith & Wesson 500 round on the left. Spencer, Your rest case. in peace. And uh, just for scale, the actual bullet on this 500 is 350 grains. On a nine millimeter, it's 115 grains. 125, so 115, 125, yeah, or 24. My, okay, mine were 115. Oh, mine are like 124. Okay, all yeah. right, all right. So in perspective, this is three times the size. <laughs> uh, is it gonna go through? Absolutely not. Is it gonna mangle the plate? Pretty sure. Yeah. Is it gonna hurt? Nah, not me, but the plate, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, you want to take your time and uh, shoot straight on this one, kitten. Oh, yeah. We're stepping back because this is a big boy round. Yeah, just not really sure what it's going to do. So we'll put a little distance between us. We're about, I don't know, 75 feet. Yeah, 75 feet's fair. Hang on. We got a car coming through. All clear. All right. 500 Smith & Wesson. Hand cannon. Jesus Christ. You hit it. She fucking stopped it. Not even a fucking dent. No. It's starting to split the case or the Sp spouting. Yeah. I mean, look how. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just splitting the coating off of the the plate, but definitely stopped it. That 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 would be a rib breaker for sure. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, we got five out of six or two two three or two two three wild. Uh. Hit it. No dirt. Definitely good powder puff out of that. Oh, she's shooting low. Yeah. Still got her. Got it. I'm right down there. Right down there. Okay, we got a good entry. Good entry. Nothing out the back. All right. So a lot of people, Spencer, seem to think that if we have a 20 inch barrel, it'll build enough gas to go through. It's only, it's four more inches, you know, which can be quite a lot, you know. You can, you can increase the speed of it, but it will not go through this plate. It will not. I, anyway, so we ordered a 20 inch upper and we are gonna see how that goes eventually in the future. Yep. All right, 223, no bueno. Next up, we got a 308. Yeah, got a Springfield Saint 308 full metal jacket. Let's go. Direct hit. Uh, I'm gonna hit low. right there. Okay, I think. Yeah, didn't it's didn't, one that demon face the steel. I think it's that. It was that one right there. Okay. So, yeah. So so far, that's hit probably the with the most energy. Yeah, knocked everything off. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it had more energy than the 500. So, true. All right. So we got here is a 1943 Mosin I got because you can see 1943 right there. Oh yeah. All right. So Super this is similar to a 308. Only gonna load one in here. Huh? Only gonna load one. Okay. Yeah, Spencer's got the stripper clip going, but yeah. they're kind of a pain, but he's only gonna put one in this time. All right. Direct hit. All right. Well, that so far looks to be, if that's what I'm thinking, yep. probably the most, and, and there's a very small, you can't, no, there's not. You can, it looks like it, but there's no indent. Oh. <laughs> and fooled. Can't even feel it. <laughs> all right. Oh, and just to validate, there is no holes in the back of the plate at all anywhere. She's pretty tough. Pretty tough. So next up, uh, we got a 30 out six round. Fast, faster than a 308, based off 308, right? Yep. Okay. Um, 
This is a model uh, 1903 A3, but this one's actually made by Remington. But Springfield was the actual original creator of this gun. Yep. And they in, in, in uh, like World War II area, the multiple companies started making the same gun. That's why there's like Remington versions, Springfield versions. So, oh, did not know that. Yep. Anyway, this was uh, actually a sniper rifle, typically. Oh yeah. In the, in the WW2. All right. Direct it. All right. I think we got our first. Okay, I can see the hit right here. Yeah, on the bottom left. A divot. Yeah, it took a div. Okay, there is a dent there. Okay, yeah. You That's can... the closest we've gotten so far. Yeah, it didn't go through, but it left it down the back side. It looks like. Yep. Little bulge. So. Man. Yeah. Bigger. When you go bigger. We gotta go bigger. And we do have a gun bigger than that, so. <laughs> Yeah, the next gun's actually, uh, I'm very curious to <laughs> yeah. see what happens. So, uh, All right. yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go into detail when we uh, kind of start presenting it. Let's square that plate up a little bit. Yeah. All right, so we said we we're going to get something bigger. We definitely got something bigger. So we got a 308 in my hand right here. Yeah, I'll that one. Try to do it. And uh 375 H&H. &H. So about S twice the size. Yeah. And uh, in layman's terms, this is actually an elephant gun. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's going to go through, but it's going to dent the shit out of it. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be the hardest hitting thing we've got. This is literally an elephant gun, though. So I'll just be back over here. Uh, Spencer, good luck. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a full metal jacket. No, that was not as a, a, as a copper a core. Oh, was it? Yeah. But she left a good size dent. Oh yeah. Okay, so by far the deepest dent so far, and still didn't even go through. Yep. So so far, uh, all the rounds we shot, only 270 has gone through this plate. Yep. So honestly, if you shot this another time in the same spot, it's probably gonna go through. I mean, we could always do it again. Cause it looks. I don't know. Man, I don't know, man. I that don't think it would. Feels very forgiving, stretchy. Yeah. All right. So we've shot what nine millimeter? Yep. Forty five. Yep. Uh, I think we moved it from there. Five hundred. Uh, Five hundred. Yep. Uh, two two three, three zero eight. Yep. Uh, th uh mm. or seven six two by fifty four R, which is the Mosin. Yep. Uh, uh thirty out six. Thirty six and the three seventy five H and H. So. Uh, and none of those went through that. No, but that is our baseline though. So <laughs> that's a baseline. So yeah. to date. Only one gun has gone through, and it's honestly shocking as hell. Yeah. So we, uh, after today, our next one, we're going to have calibers that we know are going through. Oh, yeah. So I mean, I'm going to probably get a full metal jacket, some uh, millimeter, so that thing probably would go through. Yep. I'm going to get FMJs for the 300 wind mag. We're going to shoot the 270 again just to ver verify it wasn't a fluke. Yep. And then 338 Lapua. Yep. That sounds good to me. Yeah. That'll be our so, next test. So now we move on to the fun part, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, as everyone's aware, Spencer and I made our own homemade body armor. I'll let Spencer explain his first. 